Hello everyone, my name is Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amber Reads Romance. Today I'm going to be uh, just doing my quick introduction to a vlog I thought I would do. Um, I really wanted to read some of Rena Kent's new releases. Um, I saw a gem from the Book Refuge talking about them and I had kind of stopped reading Rena Kent a long time ago. I don't even know why. It wasn't for like any specific reason. Maybe I just wasn't into the bully or whatever romance is for a while. Um, but I saw really great things about her newer releases. But they are actually like the second generation of characters that were in this older series. I had actually read the first three books in that series way back. Um, so I decided before I read those, I was going to make take on this undertaking and this big commitment of going through the reading order that Rena Kent has to get to those books. So I went to reread the first three books that I read. There's actually kind of like a prequel book. Um, but I'm just skipping that because I didn't really see that good of reviews on it. Um, and I don't really remember it having any bearing on the first three books that much. So I'm just starting out with The Deviant King. Um, and then I'm going to continue on with the three books. The three books are centered around the same couple, Aiden and Elsa. I remember this being like a major like bully, enemies to lovers type of romance. And it's three books on this one care on this one duo. So um, there are cliffhangers and I remember it being like crazy. So I remember the basics about it, but I kind of forget all the twists and turns because there's a lot of mystery and like how they're connected and all of that. So I'm going to start this vlog is just going to be those three books. We'll see how I continue. If I continue vlogging my whole Rena Kent experience, maybe I'll just do as I do the books. I'll do a little review, quick little review or something. I don't know how I'll do it, but it's a lot of books to read just to catch up to these new ones, but I thought it would be fun. So I will check in with you guys once I start reading Deviant King, which is the book, first book, and let you know what I'm thinking of it so far. All right. Thank you guys. Um, as always, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next clip. Hey guys, so I am checking in um, on the first book for this reading vlog. Um, hopefully the lighting's not too bad. I was reading in the house and um, my son's playing video games, so I couldn't really film out in my usual area, but the sun just went down here. So hopefully it's not too dark. Um, but I'm about 50% through Deviant King, which is the first book. Um, in this Elite King series. I, again, I did read the first three books years ago, but I really forgot like everything. But I'm about 50% through. I am not gonna do as many check-ins as I normally do because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so I got about 50% through and it's really easy to read. It sucks you right in. It's the perfect bully romance. I know I had put this on like my bully romance reads way back. Um, so it's, it's sucking me in and I'm getting major Carter Mahoney vibes from, um, Aiden King. So Aiden King is our hero, our bully, our hottie, um, and he has basically had it out for Elsa, who he calls Frozen, by the way, because he calls her like the ice princess, ice queen kind of thing, and it kind of makes sense with her name. But he basically has it out for her since her first day at their school. They're like at this kind of elite kind of school. Um, I think it's in the, in the UK. I can't remember where it's at. Um, but he has it out for her. He sees her instantly and like basically threatens her like, you know, you're dead, like kind of thing. Like he threatens her, like he's going to make her life hell. Um, and she has no idea why he hates her. She doesn't understand. She's never done anything, um, to him, never met him before yet. He like hates her. So it kind of jumped like two years and she's been pretty much bullied and ostracized by the school and like his minions. Like he's never really focused in on her with his bullying, but he's made his minions and people, other people kind of make her life hell. She's a runner. She has a heart condition, which we don't know much about. 
Um, and there's a lot of secrecy, which I remember from the from when I read it the first time, but I kind of forgot all the twists and turns that happened. I think in the second and third book more, this is more of the intro book. Um, but like she has a mysterious past where like something happened with her parents dying. She doesn't remember things. So she's got this whole missing past. So you kind of know, okay, that's where Aiden's probably knew her from is this missing past from when she was a child. She, you could tell she probably had locked it out some traumatic memories and so she's has like you know memory issues with that she has a best friend um kim i think and she was kind of like more of a curvy girl she gets um bullied all the time by aiden's best friend uh xander and what starts as a senior year as like Xander bullying her again um, in like a private area. And basically Elsa decides to film him so she can hold him accountable, report him for bullying. And Aiden sees this and basically takes her phone away from her and totally like kind of attacks her and basically like you shouldn't have made me interested. And so now he's stepping it up where he's fully like after her like it's not just minions or whatever so he starts kind of harassing her he literally does some dubious consent right there like pulling down her top he sees her scar from like i think like a heart surgery she may have had um that she's very embarrassed by and he leaves like these hickeys all over it um and he is pretty possessive and psycho i mean he really is giving me Carter Mahoney vibes. I mean, I don't know if anybody can do Carter Maho be as good as Carter Mahoney because he's like a true psychopath. I think Aiden may be too. Um, cause there's a point where she like is with her aunt and uncle who like kind of took her in after her parents died and they're eating breakfast and everything. And Aiden basically like shows up, pretends like they're a couple like totally woos them because they work for like, they're like a smaller company and they work for his family, which is this like huge corporation. He's like very rich, um, the Kings. And so like, he's kind of like wooing the, the uncle, the aunt seems kind of suspicious, but it really reminded me of Carter Mahoney showing up after he assaulted, you know, the heroine and like basically conning her mother like and so he's just Aiden's got that psychopathic personality those traits of like not showing emotion he's got like he's very cut off but like he can manipulate people he's a big manipulator and so basically he gets it in his head that like he's like you're gonna be mine um you need to be mine and but she's like denying it she's like you're my bully like you've made my life hell i'm not gonna admit to being yours and so he goes about his own way of kind of making her be his um at one point she notices her friend like cuddling like kind of hugging him and crying and she gets pretty upset because this guy's bullied her forever um and xander who has been bullying her best friend does not like her getting comforted by um Aiden so he kind of comes up to her like let's work together and pretend like we're together and so they do that they literally walk into like the um you know cafeteria area and there he has his arm around her and Aiden literally just gets up and like punches um his best friend Xander and totally attacks him and they get in this big huge fight and so, you know, and he tells her, like, you're going to pay for that. So, like, eventually he basically wears her down with dubious consent. And because she's very turned on by him, she doesn't want to be turned on. Oh, it's getting so dark out here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's very turned on by her. Like, she's turned on by him. And he gives her kind of forced orgasms and shows her that she wants him. So... I don't know. I'm absolutely loving this. I mean, it is a high school romance and it's a little aggressive for high school students, but that's how these bully high school things are. I'm really enjoying it. Rena Kent's writing really kind of sucks you in. It's really easy to get through. So um, right now they're actually at a party because they kept trying to like his friends were being nice to Kim out of nowhere, which that's what she's paranoid about, which also reminds me of Carter Mahoney because he would like use her friend 
um, as a way to like get to her or get her to do things that he wanted. So a lot of this stuff feels very similar, um, but in a good way. Um, so they end up going to this party and Aiden basically like kisses her in front of everybody and um, takes her up to a room. So we're going to see <laughs> what happens there because he's like, it's time to make you fully mine. So I'm excited. I'm enjoying it. Um, I remember that this three books was pretty crazy. It's kind of this outlandish like plot and twists and turns, but I really forgot a lot of the twists and turns. So I'm excited to continue and see how it goes. So I will follow up with you guys once I finish the book. Um, and hopefully I have a better lighting and location. Um, sorry about that. But absolutely loving this so far. And I'm really glad I'm rereading this. Um, I think I'm really going to get into Rena Kennigan. Okay, so I will see you after I'm done. Hey, everyone. Um, I am just doing my follow-up, my last check-in for the first book in this series, um, which I read Deviant King. I finished it last night um, and I really enjoyed it. I couldn't put it down. I read it like that's all in one day and once, well not in one sitting because I had to work obviously, but I, I really liked, liked it. I think the first time I read it, I think I gave it five stars and I'm going to keep it at five stars because I think it's really addicting and sucks you in and um, obviously it's three books um, so it starts out with three books around Aiden and um, Elsa and so it is gonna leave off in a cliffhanger so things were okay with them kind of <laughs> as okay as it could be she's basically accepted that she's his like they're together even though she kind of says like they're not boyfriend and girlfriend but they pretty much are. And um, they actually had finally had sex. Last time I checked in with you guys, um, they were kind of getting frisky. Um, they were going to be um, in that room like alone at like the party. Um, they didn't fully have sex there because they got interrupted because their friend got shit faced. <laughs> um, but they eventually do have sex a little bit later on. He didn't really know she was a virgin, which I thought was kind of weird because he literally asked her step by step, like, has a cock ever been in your mouth? Have you ever, you know, any of these things? Has any guy ever touched his pussy? And she said no. So it's like, why did you think she was going to be a, not be a virgin? But things are getting a little bit weirder with like her dreams. There's a weird car that's like sitting outside her house and she's kind of creeped out. Um, they end up like he ends up spending the night um, at one point and she had like this really bad dream. Um, and he was like there when she woke up. And so she's having like these, you could tell their memories that are coming through. And she kind of finds out from her therapist that her um, aunt and uncle had her like hypnotized to kind of get rid of the memories or like he was supposed to hypnotize her to kind of help her but she chose as like a child to basically get rid of her memories and so she doesn't remember anything that happened to her so there's all this mystery around her and like what happened to her parents and why she doesn't remember anything and so um, she is fully with um, Aiden. He's still very Carter Mahoney like, very controlling, very possessive. Um, you know, he doesn't want any other guy around her. He's just, he's alpha AF. Um, but what ends up happening is she's over at his place watching a game and she runs into his dad and he looks like infuriated. And Aiden was like, you cannot speak to my dad. You can't be around him. Never speak to him. So that was shady as fuck. Um, and then what ends up happening is one day, like, while well, he's at practice and she's on her way home, she is going out to the parking lot. And Aiden has this, there's a lot of this drama with this, like, mean girl bitch that, like, basically thinks she owns Aiden and would, like, go after Elsa and stuff. And so she's just dumb. She's like a typical mean girl that you have in these bully romances. Um, but she catches his dad talking to this mean girl and she's complaining, like, you said you'd get rid of her. Like, why is she still around? And he lets it out that, like, Aiden is in control of that. And that it's on Aiden because Aiden 
is going after Elsa for her parents supposedly killing his mother. And his mother had been, like, in the news, it looked like she committed, like, she had a car accident, but really they say she committed suicide. So there's a lot of mystery on why her, how her, his mother died. And so now she finds out that he was basically after her for revenge, and that's it. And so she runs off and happens to run the area by the pool, which she never goes near water or pools because she has a lot of nightmares about drowning and that she drowned, obviously, probably in her past. And somebody pushes her in the pool and she starts to drown. And that's where we leave off in the cliffhanger. So honestly, like, I don't, I remember some things, but I don't remember everything that like happened to her as a child. And like, I know it has fucked up stuff with Aiden's family, but I kind of can't remember. I haven't read this forever. So I'm excited. I actually, um, dove right into the second one. Um, I started, just started a little bit of it today at work because I was busy. So I went on to book number two immediately, which is Steel Princess. And that basically picks up right after we, you know, left off where she almost drowned, this other mystery, like new boy at the school ends up saving her. And so that introduces a new character and she goes to the hospital and she basically cuts it off with Aiden and tells him she knows and that they're done. And he basically does Aiden like he always does, like, we're not, we're never done. Like, I don't care. Like, we're never through. So she's going to be trying to like push Aiden away and move on from him, but he's not going to allow it. So, so far I'm enjoying it. I just started it, so I'm not that far into it. Um, so I'll give you guys another update once I get like maybe 50% through that book. Um, but I really did enjoy Deviant King, giving it five stars and um, I can't wait to continue. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, um, I'm going to try and make this really quick because I'm actually on my break right now and I wanted to do a quick update um, on where I'm at with Still Princess. So I am about 50% through. Um, I'm enjoying it. This, this book is more going um, into trying to figure out what happened to Elsa when she was a child, why she doesn't have her memories, um, why her parents supposedly are responsible for, um, Aiden's p mother's death. Um, so there's a lot of mystery going on with her. And so she's trying to figure it out. She's actually going to her therapist and trying to do hypnot have him hypnotize her and try to get through her subconscious so she could try to figure out what's going on. So she's having like crazy memories, crazy dreams, um, she's kind of getting a little bit more violent tendency in this book, um, with the dealing with this mean girl that she hates. I think her name is Silver. I can't remember. Um, and Aiden is still trying to pressure her to be with him. He basically, um, ends up kind of manipulating her because he knows about her past. He knows the secrets. And so she is desperately trying to figure that out. So he basically said, you know, um, you need to be mine. I'll let you know what it's happening. So he actually promises to tell her stuff and they have to do like sexual stuff together in order for him to tell the truth. But then of course he only gives her like a tiny bit of it. So she's still like being kind of dragged along and doesn't know what's happened to her. So that's kind of like mostly what's happening in this book. There's a lot of like petty, like her trying to make him jealous with that new boy at the school that saved her. Um, just kind of like little things like him making her jealous and possessive by hanging out with that mean girl. And so it's kind of just that kind of stuff happening. So it's not a lot going on, but I'm still enjoying it. Um, it's really like binge worthy, this, this series. So um, I have arcs to read, but I might just jump into the third one and finish it real quick after this one to get it all done um, for this vlog. But um, so far, I'm enjoying it. Um, Aiden is very crazy psycho. Um, what's cool in this book is you do get more from Aiden's POV now. So we're kind of in Aiden's head finally. So that I'm really happy about because I want to know what's going on inside this crazy guy's head. Um, he does kind of remind me of Carter Mahoney. Um, so, and I love Carter Mahoney, so I'm getting those vibes. I mean, he's definitely possessive of her, doesn't want anybody to touch her, um, and all that. 
sorry, somebody just parked right next to me and I was like feeling a little self-conscious filming in front of them. So anyways, um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, and you know, um, I think, did they have sex again? Oh yeah, they did have sex again. He took her to the like, like secret hideout. Um, she's like hung out with his cousin a little bit, which I think that is in like the first like prequel kind of book that I didn't read. I didn't really read about his character. So I don't really know a lot about him. Um, his name is Levi. So maybe I'll go back to that if I'm interested still, but um, I didn't see that many good reviews for it. So I just kind of skipped right to this. So, um, I'm liking it. Aiden's crazy. Um, Elsa's kind of crazy. Um, I got to a part where that stupid silver girl was like at his house and kind of, she just pushes Elsa's buttons and Elsa full on fucking attacks her, like lays into her. She kind of sees red and she wouldn't stop attacking her and Aiden had to stop her. So she's kind of freaking out about like, what's wrong with me? Like, why would I do that? Um, she kind of has these episodes too when she has like panic attacks and memories and she would like always attack her aunt. For some reason, she ends up like scratching and hurting her aunt, which makes me suspicious. Like if like the, the, her mom did stuff to her, you know, maybe that's why she sees her aunt and just kind of loses it. I don't know. I'm excited because I totally forgot about everything that happened to her um, when I read, originally read this. So I'm excited to find out everything that happened and all that. Um, but I got to get back to work. Um, I'm going to try and re sneak reading at work today and we'll see how far I get. Um, but I will follow up with you once I finish the book. I'm representing my uh, Game of Thrones today with my Westeros um, map shirt. <laughs> so I'm um, having a great time reading this and I will check in with you soon. Hey guys, so I am doing my final check-in on Steel Princess. I finished it last night and I'm having such a great time reading rereading this series. Well, I've only read the first three books, but so I'm having a good time reading these first three. And um, basically like the last half of the book, a lot of stuff goes down. Basically she's getting closer to Aiden. They're kind of making this deal where he tells her little tidbits about her past, but he's really giving her no new information. It's like barely any information, but that's kind of how Aiden is. He's like, he plays games, he manipulates. So you kind of expect that, but they are getting closer. And mostly what you have is Elsa finding out about her past. She's going to the therapist, she's having memories, doing the hypnotherapy and all that kind of stuff. So she's learning more and she's kind of having these memories of like her mother and you're getting the idea of how like unstable her mother was. So she ends up getting a big wake up call one day because Jonathan, which is Aiden's father, has revenge. He wants revenge against her because of her father. So the little tidbits that Aiden was giving was like that there were these two businessmen that like hated each other. They were rivals. They would compete on any everything. And they basically kind of did this thing where they both married somebody, a woman uh, that was mentally unstable. I don't know why you would do that, but this is what they did. So like you kind of find out that Jonathan hated her father. They have like this big competition between them and rival businesses and all that kind of stuff. Well, he's irritated because Aiden's still like continuing to see Elsa and he's not stepping up the plan for revenge. So he kind of steps in and he goes and has a talk with her aunt and uncle. She overhears it, which is what he wanted. And he tells, he basically was talking to them about how he paid for her heart surgery and they owed him and all this kind of stuff. So she had a heart condition. I say heart condition because it wasn't really a heart condition you find out. But she, um... Like they, he, Jonathan paid for her heart surgery because they can afford it and stuff and help them like move their business up and be more successful. And why would he do that for the like daughter of the man he hates? That's the question. It's kind of like he was waiting for her to get old enough or something to go after her empire, I guess, because she's a steal. And her father who had this huge company, he's, you know, very successful. And so he is basically um, going after her. Um, so she freaks out cause she finds out also that she didn't really have a heart condition, but that she was shot and that's why they had to do surgery on her heart. Um, so she kind of runs off, Aiden finds her, takes her to the hideaway and they have this like pretty romantic time together. He's there for her 
and it's really sweet. They even like go off to this lake and have a romantic time, even though she's afraid of lakes. And she, you know, um, and then she also had found out from one of his friends that he was actually kidnapped. So he was kidnapped by her father, but then he was kept for 10 days and his friends who were also kidnapped were actually let go like after a day. So, you know, something fishy happened with Aiden's kidnapping. And so she kind of confronts him on it and it turned out that his, her father had kidnapped him, but the mother kept him and she kept him down in the basement. And this is what leads to memories for Elsa, where she remembers going down to the basement, trying to help him give him food, water, blanket. And he was like beat down there. Um, you have seen that Aiden has these like slashes on his back and that's like from her mother, like kind of torturing him and holding him down there. So now it all clicked into place of why Aiden hated her when he first met her and was mean to her and said he was going to ruin her because she looks exactly like her mom too. So that would be pretty triggering for him. So he, um, they end up like kind of having still this sweet time together. But when they go back to the hideaway, to the house, Jonathan is there. His father is there and he's there with Silver. And Silver is the mean girl that like drives Elsa crazy. She's super jealous because they used to, her and Aiden used to be kind of like fuck buddies and she tries to like stake her claim on Aiden. Silver doesn't even seem like she really was super into Aiden. It was just what she was supposed to do or her like, you know, I don't know, for looks or appearances sake. I don't know. Silver is kind of a mystery and I'm interested in more in her, I think. Um, but she finds out, Jonathan lets her know that, like, Aiden and Silver are actually engaged so that they have no real future together. So she feels betrayed because Silver's kind of her hot button. And she, um, but then what happens is the big cliffhanger here is that her dad shows up. And her dad has been alive. He was in a coma for nine years, which you don't find this part out till the next book, which I already jumped into. But her father shows up and basically takes her with him. And she leaves Aiden, pissed off at Aiden with the whole silver engagement thing. And that's the end of Steel Princess. So, as I said, I already jumped into the third book. And I am reading Twisted Kingdom right now. I'm about 20% in. It, takes, it picks up right where the last one left off. And she's going off with her dad to live in their old family home in Birmingham. And it was basically renovated because it was burned down in this whole big incident that happened. Um, and she, um, is there and he actually showed up with Knox, who was the boy that saved him, her from drowning in the last book. So we basically have the father that he took in Knox and Teal and they were brother and sister. And we kind of find out more about why he took them in because, um, now Elsa is able to finally have a talk with her father and kind of confront him about the stuff she discovered about her mother. And you could tell he's very, like, he doesn't want to get right into that because it's horrible. But he basically kind of expands on the story about how her mother did kidnap Aiden and everything. Um, he actually kidnapped Aiden as, like, a scare tactic to um, Jonathan because they were competing. So what ended up happening was the mother kept him and like the father didn't really know that she had him in a basement tied up and he was beat she was beating him and all that kind of stuff so um he also told her how she actually took other kids before Aiden but it was like kind of kids uh, homeless kids and she would kind of just keep them for the day and then he would send them off so her mother was really um men <laughs> mentally unbalanced she had manic episodes and all this what kind of triggered her to go completely crazy was her um son elsa's elsa's brother had actually drowned in the lake and she kind of like lost it after that so she would want these kids to kind of have like and pretend like they were her son so she wanted them to like look like her son and all this kind of stuff so she ended up the last, like, before Aiden was Knox and his sister, and she ended up having them, like, downstairs, and she had cut up their knees really badly where they have scars still, um, so that they would have the scar that her son who died had. So after that, the father was like, we're not doing this anymore. And then she ends up taking Aiden and totally losing it with him. So, um... Basically, after that, he took in Knox and Teal, and he kind of had them 
he was had them in a separate house with like with the other right hand man kind of thing and so now they live with him so now elsa's in this house that the old child at home she's kind of trying to reconnect with her father you know he had been in a coma for nine years so it's not like he didn't want to be with her um and her father seems really amazing he seems really good to her and like loving um but he is a ruthless businessman and he probably does want revenge against jonathan for everything he's done so then we jump to a fundraiser that they have to go to um and it's kind of like her father's first step out into the world again and um of course, Aiden's there, and so we're going to have kind of an interaction with them. So I'm excited for that because there hasn't been any contact with Aiden this whole time. She hasn't gone back to the school, so I'm kind of not sure where she's going to end up with that. So I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great time with this. Uh, the first three books of this series. I honestly, um, I gave the last book five stars because, um, so the first two books are five stars. And honestly, it's not the most amazing book I ever read, but it's fun. Like, it's a fun, wild little ride. It You can't put it down. It's bingeable. I've literally read these back to back. I didn't go to my arcs. I went to the third book. So, I mean, it's a good bingeable series. I mean, if you don't like high school, like, stuff or bully, it's probably not for you. But I'm having a great time. So I'm going to try and finish this book today and jump back in and finish it. So hopefully I can get to my arcs um, that I need to read. All right. So I will see you um, in a bit once I read a little bit more of, I think I might check in only one more time because I just want to slam, get this book done. So hopefully maybe when I finish the book, I'll just do a, a bigger wrap up or whatever. All right. Thanks guys. I will see you on the next one. Hey guys, so I just finished the book and um, I absolutely loved it. I got to say that I really enjoyed my experience uh, rereading these first three books and I'm excited to continue with the series. Um, the next book is going to be Xander and Kimberly's romance and Xander was the uh, guy that was bullying her, uh, Elsa's best friend, Kimberly. And so they seem to like have grown up together and been having this really contentious where he bullies her and treats her like a cat blaming her for something that like happened and we don't have any idea after three books what happened with these two yet. So I'll be interested to see that. Um, but I really, really enjoyed this. Um, it answered all our questions that was going on with what happened to Elsa, what went on in their past. She finally learns everything that really happened to her. Um, and her and Aiden just are the perfect match together. Um, she honestly, like, they end up kind of trying to be together again, um, and his dad tries to stop that by, um, because basically Aiden, they get back together. Sorry, I was trying to remember where I left off in my last checkup because I only checked in at, like, 20%. So what ends up happening is Aiden, um, basically has, uh, his, you know, the mean girl silver hit, they go to, uh, Elsa together and kind of tell her the truth that this was a kind of an arranged marriage that they never planned on doing. Um, and that it was just for show and they never were going to follow through with it. Um, and we kind of find out that silver, which I kind of suspected that silver wasn't really ever into Aiden, um, because she, you know, Elsa's like, well, why did you come after me? Why were you so territorial over him? And it was honestly just for show because she is trying to hide a secret relationship and she was never really interested in Aiden. They had actually never been fuck buddies like he le led her to believe. So she had no reason to ever be jealous of Silver. Um, so she finds out the truth in that and she tries to like not be with him for a while, but she does. Um, there was another incident too where we find out who pushed her in the pool at the end of the first book where she like drowned. Um, and that was this guy that was obsessed with Silver. He kind of ends up confessing it to Silver and Silver goes to Elsa and tells her the truth because also um, she saw that guy threatening and being really crazy with Elsa, I mean, with Silver in the parking lot. And so she kind of stepped in to help. So I'm interested to see if we're going to get a book for Silver. I'm pretty sure she's going to be with her stepbrother, which is one of the other friends, um, because they seem to have an interesting dynamic. So I'm really excited to get that because I like it when they do a mean girl that there's more to her. Um, 
and that, you know, it's not just that surface level mean girl kind of stuff. So I'm excited to see if, when she gets a book. I think it's going to happen. So once they kind of find that out, they end up getting back together and um, they're finally together. Everything's looking good. But um, he tells his father that I'm I'm can't I'm I'm gonna not be um, engaged to her. I'm cutting off this engagement, and he's pissed because he needs her father's um, help. Her his uh, father Jonathan and Elsa's father are like competing again for the same like business opportunity. So again, they're at kind of after each other yet again. And so his father needs this um, Silver's father's like backing. And so he's pissed. So he ends up making him like come to, uh, I think China, I can't remember where, with him for like a week. And him and Silver, I mean, <laughs> him and Silver, uh, him and Elsa are like making, you know, they're having texting, sexting, all that kind of stuff. Um, he ends up finding out that her, his father was like, I just need to get you away from her because then things could go into place. And what ends up happening is um, Elsa's father does kind of almost like an arranged marriage thing with her, with one of his other friends, the one that was like the partier friend. And so Aiden's pissed. He flies back and he kind of kidnaps her, but I mean, she wants to go with him. And he's like done with her not knowing everything. And he takes her back to where it all happened, where he was her old home where she was, he was held in the basement and they end up going in there and, you know, trying, he tells her everything that happened from his side of the story. And then eventually after they get frisky at one point, she remembers everything. And so you get to find out everything that happened about how her mother had like, um, was, you know, keeping him down there. Um, Elsa's father was finally coming home. So she was going to tell him the truth so that he could get out of there. Um, but the day that this all happened, the mother came down and she like beat him really badly where he has all those scars all over his back, um, with her like riding crop. And, um, but Elsa is also trying to get her dad to help, but she overhears her father and mother argue about this. She, he, she's got blood all over her and she kind of says what happens. The father's infuriated. He's going to go get this kid and out and she ends up shooting him. And um, he's, at, he's shot a couple times and he's bleeding out and he tells Elsa to run for it. Um, unfortunately, her, his mo her mother gets to her and takes her down there. She sells the gun, but she helps him like kind of trick her mom to let Aiden go and she pushes him out and then she's stuck in the room with him with his her mother and she ends up shooting her daughter so that's how who shot her how she had the art heart condition and he always thought she had like died because he went in there she was all bloody and then the mother had like killed herself so so you finally find out everything that happened um the mother was kind of still alive and his like right hand man basically said no you're gonna die in here and he burned down the house so, um, but when they were stuck in there, they kind of got locked in and with, for a reason. And she started to have her heart issues escalate. And so she was like almost at death's door when they finally get her and take her to the hospital. So, um, they end up together. There's a great epilogue of them, like a few years down the line, they're married, you know, in college together. And it's just really, really cute. Um, I really, really loved this series. I mean, it's not this like amazing book books or anything, but it's a fun ride. It, I binged them back to back to back. I gave them all five stars. I had a great time. So I absolutely loved it. And I can't wait to continue with this, uh, the series. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully this isn't such a long vlog, but you know how I am when I vlog, I talk too long and it's three different books. So we'll see. All right. Thank you so much. Um, please remember to like and subscribe to my video. Leave me some comments down below about if you've read this series or if you want are interested and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.